Hey friends, it's Gabrielle Eichel here and we are out shopping for Valentine's Day. It's February 13th and I stumbled upon this really cute store. It's a Christian bookstore called Living Well and it not only has like things for your soul, it has things for your body like naturally. It had a smoothie cafe, it had like groceries, you can buy what look like healthy things to eat and drink. There was non-alcoholic section for beverages and there was no alcohol there period, but they made it clear that the section was non-alcoholic beverages. I thought that was so cute. And then vitamins, they had herbs and spices and they featured a black history table that had books that were written by black authors, which is really cool. And I found these cards. There were some that were all occasion cards and then there was a set of 18 that were just birthday cards. They have black characters on the cards. So I thought that was beautiful. I don't need them right now, but if I ever did, I would definitely be going back to the store to get them. So then I took a trip to Target. All right, so leaving five below, but the tea is the guy was trying to steal a whole suitcase from Aldi and he, um, I guess he got out. The lady who works there was trying to, you know, stop him from taking the goods and he hit her. He was fighting a lady. And so there was two police officers or two police vehicles that I saw and they were trying to help. And now the police officer is like still riding around. It's a little too much for a Tuesday, don't you think? Props to homegirl for doing that. But I was taught when I was working in retail not to fight a customer. If they take it, they take it. Your life is way more important than $100 worth of groceries, you know? Um, so there's that, but good, good for her. So now I'm at Giant, I'm going to get some strawberries so I can make chocolate covered strawberries. And then I'll probably do like cupcakes or some type of cake or something that I can make with the ingredients I already have at home. And then, yeah, we'll just see what we do tomorrow. I don't want it to be too extravagant <laughs> again, you know. Um, so yeah, we'll just do something simple. Oh no, now there's a freaking ambulance out here. What is going on? It's Tuesday. Uh, let me get in this giant. There are the police, y'all. They ride him back around. Wow, look at this, y'all. They done spit out Valentine's Day. I just want. It. Lastly, I made a stop at Giant because I just wanted to get chocolate covered strawberries for tomorrow, and it was crazy in here like all the balloons and flowers is it's oc oc out of control so now it's the next day after work february 14th and i just got home and i'm just like cleaning up before chris comes over This is my gift from Valentine's Day. We did like a white elephant. It was so cute. So she got me, um, I'll play a little clip of it actually. I cleaned up the living room. Now I'm moving on to the kitchen. Going to empty the dishwasher and wash the dishes that were sitting in the sink.
And then I wanted to show you guys the things that I actually got from Target. So here's like a mini haul. I wanted to get Chris something for Valentine's Day because usually Valentine's Day is all about the girls, but I wanted to show that that's not always the case. So I didn't get any like girly lovey-dovey stuff. I got things that I thought he would like, such as these baseball cards, a masculine scented candle, some chocolate. I got a Target gift card. Just a little something to show that I appreciate him and it's not all about me. So it was cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and wash the dishes. In order for me to cook or do anything in the kitchen, I need to have my sink area clean. So that means my dishes need to be clean before I can feel comfortable doing anything else. And even while I am cooking, I'm also in the middle of washing my dishes. Hey guys, so it's Valentine's Day. I cleaned up the best I could and Chris is on his way. We're gonna be cooking dinner tonight. So I had a choice between steak and spaghetti. I chose spaghetti because I just wanted something easy and simple. We already celebrated Valentine's Day a couple of weeks ago and that's enough for me, you know, but it's cool that we get to spend the actual day together or night together. So we're gonna cook spaghetti. I have the um, garlic bread. I have some desserts, some donut holes, cheesecake, ice cream, and chocolate covered raisin. Cho I do love chocolate covered raisins, but chocolate covered strawberries. And we're gonna watch TV. We've been watching love on the spectrum so we're going to continue watching that tonight and that's a perfect thing to be watching on the day that we celebrate love um so yeah pouring a glass of wine and we're going to start cooking so today we're making spaghetti and i have the choice of steak or spaghetti but i went with spaghetti because i feel like steak is your typical Valentine's Day meal, fancy meal, you know, and sometimes it's overrated. And so I just wanted something simple and easy, especially because we both just got home from work. We've already both had a long day and just wanted to make the evening just as smooth as possible and not require too much effort, you know? Plus we already celebrated Valentine's Day and I was okay with that, so. I really wasn't even expecting all of this for our night. So we went ahead and started, or Chris really, started the squash and zucchini, seasoning it up, and then we put it in the oven and let that cook. While that was going, we started to season the ground turkey that we used for the spaghetti. As you can see, while he's doing that, I'm washing dishes. <laughs> and then because his hands are dirty, I'm going in and adding additional seasoning after he mixed the ground turkey up. You can see him add a little wine into the meat just to give it a little bit of oomph. Then we're gonna start the spaghetti. You're peeking. I'm not peeking, but I feel like you're gonna hit me. You're peeking. Yeah, yeah. While the pasta's boiling, I let him open his gift and he was surprised, so I think that was good.
Now I'm decorating my Christmas tree for Valentine's Day. I got these cute little ornaments from Amazon. I don't think it was last year, but one year I tried to decorate my tree for like every major holiday and or season. Alexa, turn on my Christmas tree. So after this will be like Easter slash spring. So really excited to be doing this again this year and I will definitely be showing you guys how I do it. So we have our garlic bread and then look at the zucchini and squash. I failed to listen to Alexa when she told me that the timer was done. I didn't take it out of the oven. So <laughs> yeah, it got a little burnt, but it tasted really good. Now it's time for desserts. So I have strawberry cheesecake. I have chocolate covered strawberries, some ice cream. We had choice between vanilla and the cookie duo. But I think the best choice with cheesecake is vanilla ice cream. Also had little munchkins from Dunkin Donut available, but we did not choose to eat that. And look at this on this cute little heart shaped plate. It was so cute and so I took that over and it's so cute how he waited for me because he thought I needed to take a picture of it but I had already done it. I didn't realize he was waiting for me to do that. That's sweet because he, he's usually complaining about me doing that, taking pictures. <laughs> now it's time to clean up all of the mess. So I went ahead and took a shower, got comfortable in my little cute red pajamas. These are actually Christmas pajamas, but they, they fit the Valentine's Day theme. So yeah, I'm going to continue washing dishes because I just feel like all my life, I just wash dishes. Like it's a never ending thing. I'm gonna always have to wash dishes. <laughs> So how did everyone celebrate Valentine's Day? Did you do Valentine's Day with the girls or did you hang out with your boo? Did you go to a nice fancy restaurant or did you stay in like we did and make yourself a nice meal and just spend time together? I truly appreciate the little things in life and spending this night together was just nice that, you know, we didn't have to really go all out for Valentine's Day because it's not it's not really what matters I think so we had a really good night
backslider, but I'm riding where the dope is go. Lonely roads took me through tough times and rough signs. Ignoring red flags, just hoping they duck mines. My mind go to places they shitting when I'm alone. And my phone get ignored when I know the caller a clone. Saying everything I knew you would say to me. Sometimes I just stay to me. Keep my toxic side away from others. I'm outside and I cover the pain with good jokes and drinks. A good toast keep me from having a deal. We black men who give a how we feel but see that lower frequency made me throw away all my decency so frequently i'm fighting to live on a higher plane flying planes out the places just to prove i'm sane i looked across the water chilling in miami down in brickle realizing ain't surprised they don't want the money to trickle so that trick could be to make it not that money make me i stopped the talking now i listen and just say my piece nothing to argue about i listen and just claim my peace can't be talking i just listen so one day i can teach and that's real no i couldn't throw away this pillow cover so instead I just folded it in half and just put it on top of this little thing I, I don't know what it's giving but I thought it was kind of cute the kitchen is pretty much clean these cannot fit in the dishwasher so I just put them there and then I didn't want to mix these with the rest of my dishes because there was glitter and stuff in there. These I will wait till tomorrow to wash just because there's like really no space. And um, Mardi Gras beads. I may be going to New Orleans next week. So we'll see if I'll keep those. A bottle of Prosecco and my fruits all clean. Now, this is going to be something, but thankfully, I did not use this. This has all been sitting there. I did not do anything, I did not put anything over here today except for these two. Um, but everything else has been there and then I'll, I'll be cleaning this stuff up probably in the next video because I'm tired y'all it is one almost 1 30 it is time to go to bed but before I go to bed I need to sweep the floor and tell Alexa to turn off my Christmas tree Alexa turn off my Christmas tree Okay. All right, so I'm gonna sweep and then head to bed. Good night. I personally enjoy cleaning by myself. I feel like I know how I liked, I would like my kitchen to look the best. And you know, sometimes if someone is there helping, it's nice to have help, but they don't really know your kitchen and they'll be asking questions. And you know, sometimes I just like to do it peacefully and it sort of relaxes me and gets me ready for bed anyway, so I prefer to actually clean by myself. Let me know your thoughts on cleaning, if you like getting help or if you prefer doing it alone. I understand if you have a partner, you probably do it together because you don't want to have to always do this chore or job when you live with multiple people. Once the floor is swept, I will do the last rinse in the sink. I'll wash the sink down, spray it with either bleach or a little mixture that I bought from the store. And then I'm doing something that I haven't really done in a while. I can actually feel the handles being a little gooey so I decided to clean all of the drawer handles in the kitchen. So that's all I have for my Valentine's Day clean with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it and will consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the bell to be notified whenever I post. Give this video a big thumbs up and click the share button if it was helpful for motivation or you just enjoyed the video in general. <laughs> and then I will see you in the next one. Bye.